Selamat tengah hari dan salam sejahtera. Terima kasih kerana masih lagi setia bersama kami dalam Borak Taisi Pen di Ria Hato. Masih lagi bersama kami Afikai dan si cantik mulus Mia Hassan. Si cantik apa? Si cantik mulus. Oh, boleh je lah mulus. Boleh. Hasil make-up hari mulus lah. Terima kasih Abang Odin. Terima kasih promote. Hi everyone, what is up? Oh siap, okay. Hi everyone, what is up? Happy Sunday. Hari Happy ini adalah Sunday. hari uh, yang... Tidak bekerja kepada semua orang tapi bekerja untuk kami yang berada di sini. Tapi tidak apa. Not for long. Ya, yeah, not for long. Kami orang sedia menemani hari hari minggu kita orang. Betul. Sebab seperti biasa. Hmm. Di Borak Tesipeng akan kelakar banyak benda. Betul. Dan tapi orang pun ada guest hari itu. Siapa guest kita? Tease sikit. Afikai. Kita pun guest adalah salah seorang host. Host uh, apa? Untuk program Culturally ah, Sarawak. Yes. And then dia pun main sesuatu. Pemain muzik. Yes, yeah. pemain muzik. And dia main sesuatu benda. It's not sub. It looks like sape, but it's not sape. Hmm. Ah, momok tak kasi lah. Tunggulah. Tunggu. Hmm. Okay. While waiting, kasihkanlah nak omok tanda kita kelakar seorang. Eh, kelakar seorang. Untuk aku. Nang, nunggu seorang. Ah, ah. Nunggu without without any without any reason. Ah, yeah. So, what we want to talk about today is our first, our current issue. Okay. Speaking about travelling, do you like travelling? Hey, of course. Walaupun banyak dah apa. Uh, flight dah di cancel dah. Ah yes. <laughs> so traveling to because of COVID it got hmm. affected really bad. Betul. Okay. So this one particular country that Malaysia has been hmm. engaging actively is India. Wow. Jai Ho. Salah satunya lah Jai Ho. Ah, Nak belagu aja kerja. Oh. <laughs> Okay, teruskan, so teruskan. from Borneo Post, pelancong dari India itu adalah uh, salah satu segmen yang terbesar lah untuk Malaysia. Jadi pada tahun 2009, which is uh, before COVID, uh, BC, before hmm. COVID. BC, uh, before BC, COVID. BC. Around 730,000 pelancong dari India datang memeriahkan uh, tourism di Malaysia itu. Jadi it got really affected lah in in in. 2020 where because covid starts to comments and everything and then the international border tutup and stuff like that so pengarah pelancongan Malaysia di New Delhi namanya Sulaiman Suib dalam kinetok tengah dalam perancangan untuk mengembangkan lagi uh, nama Malaysia di arena pelancongan India Ah, kita buat empat banyak lagi orang India datang ke Malaysia banyak lagi apa we have a lot to offer actually right kan insyaallah soon lah kita boleh buka dah border apa penerbangan antarabangsa dan pelancong-pelancong luar boleh masuk lah. yes ah hmm. harapnya Karina Kapoor Uh, Charisma Kapoor Sharkan, Sharkan. Kritik Roshan Please I am in Sarawak I give you the address uh, Should you come Okay My my Instagram They will They will You know They will promote down here If you guys see please. Come over please. Please I give you kita. laksa uh, I give you laksa Okay, okay Next cerita, one Seterusnya Kita ada cerita Tentang contact lens Okay Kai sebagai pengguna Tegar contact lens okay. Mau memberilah Pembelian uh, Informasi itu kepada semua penonton yang bahawa kotak lens itu sebenarnya bahaya dan disalahgunakan. Ah. Sebagai pengguna kotak lens, kita harus tahu kita balik kerja ataupun kita dah habis pakai kotak lens, kita harus buka. Jangan hmm. dibat tidur, jangan dibat mandi. Paling oh. bahaya, actually, dibat tidur lah. Tapi jangan dibat mandi juga sebab Kai sendiri nak. Biasanya dah, dah balik rumah, <laughs> nak mandi, nak macam kelak je lah buka kotak lens lepas mandi. Oh, But yeah, actually, yeah. jangan. No, no, no. Oh, okay, really? no. Bahaya. Yeah. Because kotak lens sebenarnya boleh bertemu dengan air. Contact lens bertemu dengan non sterilized water umpama kita oh. bertemu dengan ex girlfriend lah bahaya ah. macam macam eh. boleh jadi eh, banyakkah? Eh, banyakkah? <laughs> sebab sebab kita pakai contact lens bila ada uh, yang bercampur dengan water, in contact oh. with water ada macam macam bakteria bah yang akan trap dekat selaput mata kita te uh, jadi Tapi... kita buka dulu berlah kita mandi oh. Ah, 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 si? ah, eh, ah, dekat selapuk mata yang akan dikelilingi oleh pelbagai jenis mikrob dan juga bakteria. I see, because yeah. Mia pun, to be honest, macam Kai, malas hmm. juga sebenarnya. Mau, you know, bila nak buka leceh, bah, mandi buka, you know, pasal Betul? pasang balik, bila leceh. My, Betul? you know, to be honest, hmm. my degree is actually 600. Oh, wow. Yeah. 600 and 550. So I cannot tolerate wearing glasses all the time. True. Lagi-lagi so, kita pakai mask. Yeah, Nang exactly. Ah, Nya berkabus. So bila pakai lens, so ng ngacak diri juga lah sikit. Dah kita tu kurang kacak. Ngacak dah diri diri. Dah si ranya ada lah dikit tena. Okay, so, Sipa. Uh, tapi okay. usually I will moon sleep 
with with contact lenses eh, dah lah. Tapi it's it's good sharing actually. Don't uh, ever sleep with your lens. That true. one I know. Oksigen kurang datang ke mata hmm. ya. Kali ngantok. Dan buat pengetahuan tuan nonton kita cuma boleh menggunakan contact lens maksimum ah maksima cuma lah 14 hingga ke 16 jam je. Ia pun bergantung dengan keadaan mata kita. Mungkin kita ada jenis mata normal, okey. But if mata kita jenis kering, uh, then maksudnya lebih kuranglah tempoh kita pakai contact lens. Oh. And juga penting untuk tahu kita pun bekas ya. Bukan bekas kekasih ha. Bekas contact lens. Ah, tak tahu. <laughs> bekas contact lens tak kita harus cekal dari, dari uh, 3 ke 6 bulan macam nyalah. Oh. Uh, janganlah kita pakai dia walaupun susah atau kita melepaskan benda yang kita ada dia nak. I see. Yeah. Oh, 3 ke <laughs> Tapi kita haruslah belajar untuk melepaskan benda-benda yang patut ditukar. Lah. I see. Jangan so, mendatangkan kemudaratan terhadap diri kita sendiri. Betul. Yeah. Better be safe than sorry. True. Lah sebenarnya. Okay, 14 to 16 hours meaning to say you can only wear for like hmm. maximum 8 hours. I think I wear more than that. Lah. Yeah, I use my lenses lah. more than that actually which is not healthy. Janganlah kedak muka, kedak eh muka. Tak okay. kurangkan muka kumpul putih. Mata dalam <laughs> dalam ni tak ada hijau. It's, yalah better be safe than sorry. Just True. don't don't wear it mm. a lot. I mean, you can wear it a lot, just not too long. You know, I have shortened the time mm. or something. And always keep your hygiene properly, True. lah. Your lenses actually. Tidak cerita jangan sebarang lah, oh. Yeah. Uh, saya ingin diri anda anda mampu mengubahnya. Uh, betul. <laughs> Mencegah dari lebih baik, baik daripada. Baik dari yeah. Ataupun prevention is better than cure. Exactly. Better safe than sorry. Okay? Itu dia. Cukup lah, cukup lah, cukup lah. Sudah. Okay, kita malas dah aku. Break lot sekejap. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Kembali bersama dengan kami di Borat Desi Memang bagi orang berkelahi. Terima kasih lagi kerana masih lagi bersama dengan Mia Hassan dan Afikai. Uh, seperti biasalah, uh, dua suku tu sampai pukul tiga kami orang akan menemani hari-hari kita orang setiap hari sebenarnya. <laughs> Tapi setiap hari ya, hmm. host lain. Jadi ujung minggu pun uh, kami orang lain lagi. Uh, in, content pun lain lagi. Takut orang boring. Oh, takut orang <laughs> boring. <laughs> boring. Betul. Okay, speaking about our guest today, it's interesting because she plays balikan. Okay. Belikan, yes. Belikan. Belikan. Okay. You know, at first, bila I know about I'm introducing, I, I'm interviewing this person, this great person, I was like, apa belikan? True. Yeah. Apa belikan? I've heard of sape, yes. Yeah. Sape is, is, you know, with, for me, it's very mainstream. You know, everyone uh -huh. plays sape. And I think the the one who really make it famous was uh, Mr. Jerry Kamit, you know. And then she... After that, everyone knows about Sape. Oh, Sape is... I think seluruh dunia pun tahu apa Sape. Yes, ya. because it was on um, some festivals yeah. and stuff like that. But Belikan, do you guys know? I bet you guys don't know too. Probably I don't know. Do you know? Yes, you know. I didn't know. She so, <laughs> we're going to go to Did You Know. Ah, <laughs> did You Know, as usual. Mm. I'm going to talk about Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, okay? So, Dua Lipa tu ni ada... <laughs> Dua Lipa tu ni dah lama dah sebenarnya berlagu and okay. stuff like that ni ada banyak uh, albums banyak um, you know songs that's mainstream that everyone knows the radio mm. has been playing blasting about Dua Lipa so I got no rules I got no I like that chat for yeah. aku dah mau berlagu juga oh, wow promote lah dan pun ah, ok so ni terkenal dengan lagu-lagu New Rules Blow Your Mind Don't Start mm. Now and anda juga collab dengan Sean Paul and all that stuff tapi ni si pernah pun mendukung duduki the first the first billboard. charter on billboard wow. yeah never ever 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 so the maybe yang, belum lah maybe yeah, belum, belum yes lah, yeah. tapi the one that's closest it is it is <laughs> this song ha cepat tak orang dengar lagu tu So this is one of Dua Lipa's hmm. 
a lot of famous songs lah, and it's called Don't Start Now. I think it's famous because of TikTok. Jo. TikTok yeah. was bringing the song in, and then they I think they have challenge ka apa? I don't remember, but I heard. I remember I heard a lot of Don't Start Now. So tok lah lagu dua lipa yang paling um, dekat kepada yes, carta pertama. Yes, dekat pada carta Billboard, which, which is the second. But okay lah. Yeah. I hope dua lipa your next drop. Luck, we're yeah. gonna be the All first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next. Okay. Untuk cerita seterusnya kita yeah. mau bercerita pasal jambang. Ha. Uh, Remos, ja Remos. Selalu ja Remos is jambang na. Yes. Okey, selalu ja kita dengar orang madak kena susah gila mau tumbuh jambang tu. Tapi persoalan kai kena mau gila tumbuh jambang. Ha. Ah, eh? Eh, <laughs> Tapi bila kita tanya nak kena mau mau gila tumbuh jambang sedekah sampai pada ekor sunah. Ha. Tapi ah, sebenarnya betul. ekor sunah kan nak kacak diri. But it's okay, it's yeah, okay. It at least kita, matter. at least kita ada inisiatif untuk uh, mengacakkan diri kita. Yes. I think it's a good Seperti one. Seperti diriku yeah. ini dah si kacak ke? Kita klien kita orang lelaki dah si acak. Mbuh lah Remos. Hmm. Tapi, uh, tapi uh, terasa, uh, eh. terasa <laughs> ya. Tapi nak uh, jambang taknya sebenarnya berkaitan dengan genetik lah. Oh. Kita uh, selalu pada nak pakai minyak tok ke, yeah. pakai tanam ke. Nak. Tapi Betul? menurut oh, research, oh. orang madahnya just berdasarkan kita pun genetik. Contohnya, mu bapak kita tak syarokan. Maybe lebih senang lah kita untuk mengeluarkan jambang kita. Oh. Uh, tapi mesti... Uh, It's okay to find uh, kita pun alternative tree untuk tumbuh jambang. But yeah. mun kita saja jambang bermaksud tak level of testosterone kita rendah. Oh. Eh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Sebab ah. sebab keluarkan jambang, kita perlu ada level testosterone yang tinggi. Oh. But, mungkin kita sedar jambang, si bermaksud level testosterone kita ah. tak rendah dalam badan. It doesn't matter. Ah. It still goes back to square one, which is your genetic lah. If yeah, your genetic, genetic yeah. has a lot of um, bulu badan, then your tendency to grow a lot of bulu, a lot, a lot of remos is mm -hmm. higher. Betul? You know, doesn't matter. Mm. Tos, testosterone is just there to yeah. aid, you know. Mm. Tapi it still depends Untuk on your genetic. Yes. Yeah. But, berjambang tu sebenarnya susah juga. Kita perlu Jaga. Ah, yeah, Mungkin yeah, kita yeah. si jaga te, uh, susah ah, juga. Because ni ada tengok dalam TikTok TikTok lagi. TikTok lagi. Nya, <laughs> nya, the, because ni mau uh, apa nama chef ni pun okay. remos lah te, so ni chef. And then ni first step is ni angkah oil dekat muka. Yeah, yeah. And then I don't know it's supposed to do something to the skin. I don't know. And then pasi ni angkah shaving cream. And it's not the pump one tu okay. si. The one yang angkah dalam mangkok pasi ni kuah 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 kuah. Wow. Wow. Uh, kuah sampai yang pun kembang buang kah. So chef, <laughs> pasti yang kah, oh, oh dah saya buang, kah gigi ais, aku olah ki, tahu lah aku. I think the ice is too hmm. kecil kan, ya punya nak, pori nak. Uh, ah, yeah, bahaya yeah, aja yeah. sebenarnya bila kita uh, chef chef nak, ya boleh mengakibatkan kita pun follicle start luka. Uh, ah, so bila ada follicle yeah. luka, it will affect the hmm. ability of you to tumbuh jambang lah. Okay, uh, yeah. abang so, apa pun yang, yang ada kita di situ, hati hati lah. <laughs> Sekiranya apa yang kita pelah tetap berhati-hati. Betul, yeah. betul. Okay, that's good sharing. Okay, but we're going to talk about a little bit on the serious note. Okay, Kai, it's about cyberbully. I think this past few weeks, cyberbully mm. is a bit um, on the spotlight lah because we have been through a lot of stuff and then I have a few friends also who are victims of cyberbully. So it's True. not actually a good culture. At first, I thought it was oh okay, fine, cyber bully, or you know, there's nothing serious about Betul. it. But eventually, it actually affects to one person to the extent of he or she will get major mental health um, issues, or at the end of the day, they mm. might just you know kill themselves. So, actually, why para para netizen? Yeah, para para netizen top bola is that they think that it's okay, you know, if it someone is not okay. it is not okay, it definitely, not okay. because at first when they think that someone is doing wrong publicly in on the internet, mm. you know, when you post something on the internet, it stays there. So bila netizen tak si suka, they will bash gila gila lah. Mm, yeah, true. which is not healthy and it will affect that person. So, mm. beberapa kes sebenarnya hanya dah menyebabkan banyak mangsa cyberbully to uh, end up in death, you know, end up with um, major uh, depression, anxiety and all that. Even PTSD, post-traumatic post stress, stress disorder, disorder, which is, I don't know, it's not a culture that we are proud of. We are not supposed to be proud of a negative culture and Malaysia yeah. actually is number six, specifically ranking, world ranking when it comes to cyberbullying. It's not something that we can bangga kan lah, oh, Mia. Yeah, it's not something that we're not proud of. Jual lah, number six, number one, something, I don't yeah. know, main, eh, apakah shaving kah, mm. mula video kah, apa, 
ได้รู้อย่าสิหันลานมโบซังตูมบรูว่าโตไซเบอร์บุนีโอเคไซโยโอ้ kita bersita pasal sayo mungkin kita mau menjaga kesihatan diri kita tu bukan jelah berkaitan dengan bersenam ke apa tapi juga pemakanan yang penting contohnya kita perlu makan banyak sayo macam mak mak selepas dah makan sayo tu biasanya macam kawan kawan kain nasi dah suka asingkan sayo dari mi asingkan sayo dari nasi asing toge dari laksa pagi ini sayo tu penting lagi lagi mun sayo ya Uh, berwarna hijau gelap uh, bermaksudnya ah. banyak khasiat dalamnya ada macam-macam lah contohnya macam zinc magnesium aluminium eh aluminium eh, eh, <laughs> eh, 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 eh mati lah all, all the khasiat lah dalamnya ah, so ah. mesti the darker it gets the better it will True. be ah. ah, khasiat tu penting lah untuk mengelakkan pelbagai uh, penyakit-penyakit contohnya macam diabetes uh, oh. sakit jantung dan juga jenis-jenis cancer lah which is good hmm. tu okay. makan sayur kita orang semua jangan lupa makan sayur jangan okay. lupa makan sayur ok <laughs> What's on Twitter? What's on Twitter? Okay, basically it's an app okay. for iPhone. Like currently, it's only for iPhone. Hopefully, they will um, invent one for Android. It's mm. called Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Yeah, okay, Clubhouse. Tengah trending lah, Clubhouse. Tau. Yeah, niya si tahu pun. Mm. Clubhouse. It's actually uh, how it works is that niya macam podcast. Okay, okay, I listen to a lot of podcast. Okay. Tapi podcast tak recorded kan? Okay, but it's Clubhouse. Is it is live. Ah, okay. uh, and then tapi si semua orang boleh join si get hmm. channel ya. To is um, by invitation, invitation only. By using link lah, oh. Yes, uh. orang yang perlu ada terima linknya baru orang yang dapat join. Ah, uh, you know all these channels of clubhouse channels hmm. lah. And then a lot of artists pun ya dah start wear, eh, wearing pula using clubhouse. Hmm. I think it started during MCO Sebab because kita perlu stay at home, kan? Yes. Uh, so easy and then to ya lah. Everyone pun mau in touch with the fans. Betul. Seperti hmm. saya. <laughs> With your fans lah. Yeah. Wow. Semua dah nak. Aku dah nak. Dah tak nak. Aku tak ada clubhouse. Okay. So, I think um, it's time for us to go for another break. Betul. Because we want to prep for our guest. I'm so mm. excited to be honest because I love sape actually. I'm part, partly kayan. Wow, my great okay, okay. great great grandmother is Kayan, so sape is I think part mm. of my culture also lah. So if you guys want to know more, stay tuned. You can can go to the toilet, but just make sure you guys come okay. back. Okay, Borat Tessi, Kembali lagi bersama kami dalam Borak Tessi Bank. Masih lagi bersama kami Afikai dan juga Mia Hassan. Tapi sebelum kita proceed to next segment, kami mau ingatkan mungkin kita terlepas episod-episod terlepas. Yeah. Bolehlah layari laman web YouTube dan search jika Borak Tessi Bank TV. Yes. Hmm, bila datang, jangan lupa like, subscribe dan yes. share. Yes. Dan mungkin kita semua tahu apa lagi rancangan ada our updates on TVS. We, you can, you guys can follow Instagram hmm. TVS TV My. And mungkin kita orang ada jika benda-benda yang boleh di share kita orang rasa mau share dengan kami orang. And ada jika benda-benda yang kita orang uh, kita orang mau invite kita orang pun. Yeah. Hey, kita kita Borak boleh, Tessi boleh. Peng boleh je hmm. email us drop us an email at Borak Tessi eh Borak at tvstv dot my salah halo okay <laughs> so I've been talking a lot about uh, our guest today hmm. there's Sape if you guys can see yeah, the teasers kita it's um Sape and there's also Belikan so the one who has magical hands on um, playing all these kind of things is welcome Love Love Hi. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. I'm Welcome good. to Borat Tessie Peng. How are you feeling? Uh, nervous. Ah, uh, as usual. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nervous in that. Okay, Lovrim, can you, um, because a lot of people are excited, for me, I am excited myself. Hmm. Can you, like, what is this and what is this? This this one is Belikan. Okay. And this one is the Sape. Okay. okay. Yeah. So biasanya memang kami biasa dengar sape, mm. like very very uh, selalu dengar lah sape. Um. Tapi apa belikan ni? What's the difference? Lah? Belikan uh, the difference, right? Uh, nama. Nama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi uh, soundnya semua uh, stringnya sound, semua sama. Um, dari belikan kan dia uh, the the music plays according to the percussion of the iban so oh. nya ikut yang keromong pas semua okay. and then sape can just be played just like stand that. alone lah ah uh, stand oh, alone wow. yeah oh i see okay mm. so before we get into in depth about this mm. sape and belikan you yourself lofrin mm. yourself 
uh, when did you start you know doing all these music kind of things i've always been interested in music since i was nine i started uh. with classical music oh and then uh, yeah and then um in 2012 i have my first sape and then yeah 2012 and then i was like how hard can it be because i play yeah. the guitar oh, and and then kaya kami um nanga and uh, nanga orang main da mm, 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 kaya mm. <laughs> susah da <da-ju>. jua oh, yeah, <laughs> ka. maksudnya memang oh. sendiri minat lah ah, main yeah, sape yeah. bukan from uh, parents kaya pada tak main lah sape bukan ah, lah. Oh, memang yeah. sendiri minat oh, okay yeah. interesting sebab so, kita tengok mm. budak-budak is very hard to find someone at uh, youngsters lah yang mm. berminat mm. untuk main betul, dengan yeah. betul betul kira traditional pun instrument lah kan mm. yes uh. okay then Lofrin start dari sape. Mm. After sape, then how do you get into belikan? Belikan uh, sebab saya dulu belajar dekat UCSI dekat KL. Okay. Oh. And then uh, the president of Asadia uh-huh. Academy Sarawak Daya Iban Association. Mm. Okay. Uh, nya nya kontak kami nya okay. pada uh, can you play the belikan like learn from us to yeah. play and then promote belikan. And then when I come back here, uh-huh. I was like okay, let's do this. Ah, so was it hard because, okay, you were interested in music when you were six, okay, nine, 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 nine. sorry, yeah. nine, <laughs> twalid, <laughs> when you were nine, yeah. okay. So after, do you start with any other instruments before belikan? Yeah. I mean before sape or before belikan? Guitar. Ah, yeah. I play guitar since yeah, I was nine. Yeah, nampak lebih kurang lah, but actually si sama mm. langsung oh. Ah, yeah. Totally different lah. Totally but, different. But you know, when you start like. Maybe the fingers are already very used to it, so it's it's more lembut lah. So it's probably mm. it's a bit easier compared to me. I, I know I do not know how to play as any any Music single instrument. instrument. <laughs> not yeah. never too late to try. Yeah, because you just started 2012, right? Yeah. See lah, just started nine years ago. Tak ada pun satu dah. Okay, Kai. Okay, macam kita first start main uh, this like apa classical, bukan classical macam very uh, mad culturally pun instrument mm, do you yeah. have any dreams ataupun ada niat apa masa kita start main instrument or maybe you want to show the younger generations ke ataupun memang sekadar minat aja uh, first and foremost uh, kami nang just minat just like that oh plan b because uh, of minat je lah yeah ah. and and then um, over time i was like i need to do something about this okay yeah. faham, faham. wow oh, that's yeah. good so hey, how's uh. the how's the progress Working good so far lah. It's going. <laughs> it's going. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you played sape, belikan, mm. guitar. Mm. Which, is there any festivals or, or concerts that you feel like, wow, I've been here, you know, because mm. of these two? Um, rainforest. Ah. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. Mm, that's big, yeah. wow. So you played alone? Um, I was supposed to play with Asadia last year. Mm. Oh, yeah. To reintroduce the Blikan to mm-hmm. the world, yeah. yeah. So, but COVID yeah, happens. It, yeah, There's exactly. nothing you can do. Yeah, absolutely. I see. Okay. You know, like uh, like modern instrument nak orang ada tidak pun inspirasi. Mm. How about macam instrument macam sape and Blikan tu? Adakah mm. kita ada idola aja yang bermain this kind of instrument? Um, for the the sape lah. I would say my my all time favorite would be Jerry Kamit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, nya yeah, one of the first people yeah, uh, to to teach me how to play Datun Julut. Ah, ah yeah. what? Datun Julut. Oh, that's the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I remember. I, I I learned at uh, Kampung Budaya. Uh huh. And then um, he he taught me how to play. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. But you, uh, Lofrin sendiri mm. adalah bukan uh, orang orang ulu, uh, orang ulu. Mm. Tapi sape belikan is orang ulu pun. Instrument? Oh no, the sape is the orang ulu. Okay. okay. And then the belikan is the iban people. Oh, because because yeah. this this what this question is really quite sensitive lah. Because mm. we always mm. ada issue ba like mm. maybe this instrument is belong to iban pun mm. kaum na. Tapi sometimes people always thought this one is orang ulu pun. Same goes with orang ulu pun orang orang iban pun, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's good untuk ada yeah. pencerahan lah kan. So yeah. now everyone belikan is. The Iban yeah. uh, traditional mm-hmm. instrument, the sape is the orang ulu one. Mm-hmm. Correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. So you played this again when you were kids. What do you say about when 
kids nowadays, teenagers mm. nowadays, do you think that they still want to play? Interested kasi? Yeah, interested kasi. Sebab tu, they kira traditional, oh, this is very old. Probably, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Probably they will think, oh, ye, boring lah to. I, I would mm, rather true. play guitar, true, you yeah. know. I would play get, uh, bass. Ah, mm. ah, what do you say about that? Um, for the um, the sape, we see a lot of revival from um, art, um, at even at international level with Alena Mura yeah. and our mm. local band at Adal. Yes. So more people are interested in the sape, and I see um, since the very beginning of the revival, mm. more people have been interested in playing the sape now more than ever. In my opinion. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, maksudnya samputan kita is much better than sebelum yeah. tu lah. Oh, yeah, wow, absolutely. interesting. Yeah. So kita akan tanya lebih banyak soalan lepas tu bersama dengan Lofrin. But for now kita take a eh, niya. Yeah. <laughs> so for now kita take a break dulu. Kembali lagi dalam Bora Tesi Pen. Bertemu kembali dalam Borat Tesipeng. Masih lagi bersama kami, Afikai, Mia Hassan dan juga Lofri. Yes, pemain sape dan hmm. juga belikan our own local renowned artist. Okay, Lofri, I wanted to ask something. Okay, bila Lofri perform, <laughs> is it... Okay, sebab kita main dua-dua. Okay, main dua-dua sape and belikan, right? <laughs> Ada sih kita rasa oh mungkin sebab belikan tu orang sih tahu gila so I'm going to push belikan more. Mm. Ada sih rasa macam ni. Oh okay, can oh, you wow. expand more? Um, sebab uh, because for me kan, uh, I feel more want to say it more responsible to the belikan to to give more uh, to tarik minat orang bah. Because um, because the sape already has its own followers, their Betul. own players, but Blikan is still new. Therefore, yeah. I feel responsible oh. to promote it. Yeah. Just because ya kan, sebab uh, ada sebab-sebab lain. <laughs> Macam kos- eh, konspirasi lain. teori. <laughs> but however, kami rasa it's a good initiative lah untuk mm-hmm. Lofrin uh, mengetengahkan uh, instrumen-instrumen tradisional tu supaya lebih ramai lagi masyarakat di luar yang tahu lah tentang mm. kewujudan Blikan. Yeah, uh, so... Lofrin, if it's okay, boleh si Lofrin main sikit the belikan, kan? Ah, wow. si si Lugi kita orang nunggu nak dari tadi nak. Ah. Bukan main je, lesson sekali boleh si. Lesson berbaya. Main sikit ah, okay. Si Rami <laughs> orang pandai main this kind of instrument, yeah. you know? Like people say, with great power come great responsibility. Yeah. Jadi, Tapi Mia tadi pasal nak, okay, this is you explain apa tu, uh, mm. the lyrics, mm. yeah. correct? The the melody when ah, you the melody. Okay. Okay. Tapi tu, okay, mm. for like kita kan kita tekan situ aja. Mm. Si main situ juga. Tapi nya main situ juga. Mm? I understand like, okay, nya tek. This yeah, that's is the whole thing. Ah, okay. Uh, so, meaning to say, both of your hands are actually working. Mm. Okay. Both of your fingers are actually working. Macam mm. main piano lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh ah, it's difficult. It's not like guitar, you know. Susah lah. <laughs> Kain baru je mau bercita-cita menjadi pemain sapek tu. Lalu yeah. berfikir dua kali. Okay, if Cot kai toknya, nya nak mua, nya semua, nya nak kuati beng beng. Mua nya tok nak jadi uh, pemain sape and belikan. Is there any classes or you yourself probably doing classes? Um, there there is classes um, with you just ask the sape players. They they'll be happy to teach you. Yeah. Honestly, and then for um, the belikan, there is 
there are classes done by Asadia. That's oh, where yeah. I learn. Oh, um, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Saya mau tanya tadi, with uh. great power come greatest facility. <laughs> Tapi ni apa tu? Oh, so kena aku tahu. Oh, tinggal kami takut. Sebab macam yang pada tanya ada rasa tanggungjawab untuk introduce belikan to the world, kan? Mm. Uh, so macam ni ada tak? Kita mau angkatkan budaya yang dah lama tu. And lagi lagi orang si tahu bah, it's going to be mm. very very hard lah. Mm. Yeah. Apa apa aja inisiatif yang yeah. uh, Lofrin pernah pola ataupun terfikir mau pola? Um, I was honored because recently culturally Sarawak is a okay. show that I okay. that I'm doing. Wow. Yeah, so apa tak culturally Sarawak? Yeah, culturally yeah, okay. Sarawak. Uh, di mana uh, saya bawa uh, the guests okay. semua pakar-pakar dalam alat music tradisional okay. untuk uh, give more info mm. and um, to uh, menarik perhatian uh, orang ramai and whatnot. Wow. And I I'd love to do like a a research for PhD. Wow. This is long term, long term goal. Okay, okay. Yeah. PhD on? Uh, I love music traditional. La. I see. Yeah. Why not? Wow. Can we? Yeah, why not? Because yeah. this is our <laughs> this is our root. This is you True. know basically where we come from. This is what Sarawak is all about. You know, all this instrument, mm. our culture, our race, you know, and you yourself is an Iban. Mm. I am Partly Kayan, but I still don't know about all these things as well. So <laughs> yeah, that's why it's good, you know. Yeah, every yeah. time Borat Tessi Peng is very good because I'm becoming the host. I do not know mm -hmm. things like this. So when I have the exposure only that, oh really? So because when you play it, I feel very honored also. Yeah, true. To be honest, I feel mm. very honored. And okay. for Lofi Sri yeah. punya ada platform like she said just now, nya ada Kacheri Sarawak untuk yeah. promote, mm. to give education mengenai instrument instrument uh, tradisional. Promote sikit, Lofrin, about bila, your bila aja program show. Bila aja program yang ditayangkan. Uh, culturally, Sarawak will resume um, ah, its resume. airing. Uh, yeah, okay. sebab so, seven episode dah kan. And ah, then I have, uh, I okay. have more. Um, Saturday, 1:15 p.m. Ah, at <laughs> TVS. Yeah. TVS. Yeah. TVS as show 122. My free view, my free view 122 one, two, as well. Two. Okay, so Lofrid, mm. uh, what are your thoughts about mm. this is I would say Belikan is and Sape probably you know reaching the end, you know last time before mm. people actually brought it up. Mm. Like people like you, people like me who actually you know, want this to be out there, you mm. know. So what are your thoughts about this? Do you think that it's easy for you to bring it up? Is it difficult? Is it challenging for you to bring up um, the, the the culture? I think for a um, musical instrument like the Bikan, it's very difficult because ah. um, there's not much info that we can find on the internet about the Bikan. Yeah. Therefore, um, to play the Bikan, <laughs> Uh, I have like I have to do my own research, go places, oh. yayasan to yayasan ya, <laughs> just just to get more information from the archives and whatnot. And uh, I only know there was one documentary from 1950 okay. about uh, the Borneo story. You can look it up ah. on on YouTube. Okay. Ya, ja kami dapat jumpa main lagu belikan. Oh. Pernah ah. sih terjadi bila you play pelikat, people thought it's sapi. Yeah? Ah, common. Always. Like all the time lah. Uh, common okay. lah, common. I, I don't think it's a good feeling lah. Oh. Hmm? I don't think it's a good feeling lah. So, um, it, it's... Or, or you rasa ia adalah satu opportunity yang baik untuk you introduce pelikat to the people lah. Yes, that okay. one. Yes, so, yes. always take the positive side lah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so tadi dah tanya uh, Lofrin about mm. the difference between belikan and sapi. Tapi mun macam kaitik tanya oh mun orang confused oh apa dia tok main yeah, belikan yeah. ke sapi hmm. what is the first um, major difference that we you will say to people hmm. okay this is not belikan this is actually sapi you know what is the most hmm. um, distinctive difference yeah. lah that you will say to people i'd say the the music that i play uh, the music that is played on both instruments are two different things oh okay. yeah. oh really like how yeah. different is different because for the the blikan, it follows the ngkromong, the the tawa, and all, all more, the other percussions. More from based the, on the physical appearance, yeah, uh, dapat tangga sih. For the people who play blikan or the sape, they they can know lah. Like I can see, okay. yeah, nyapun fret, I mean nyapun head, macam gitar. This one mm. is like. 
Blikan ya sebenarnya customize. Um, the the design for this Blikan sebab ada banyak uh, design Blikan lain. Ada yang ada uh, the whole day. This one is based on a model that was seen okay. in Cebu. Oh. Yeah. So they have like different types of Blikan. Ada kepala yang lonjong, ada ada yang Ooh. ada bulat, everything. So I everything see. So lah. this is inspired from the one in Cebu. Yeah. I see. Okay. The sape here, I I don't know what is this a real feather or what? Ah uh, yeah, that's a hornbill feather. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That means this thing mahal lah. Still, <laughs> oh, wow. average cost of a sape yeah, and a bikan, yeah. berapa? Yeah, um, it depends on who the sape maker or and and running. You you have to talk with them lah because ah, okay. um the pickup is a different story okay. and then the the type of wood, how long it's going to take, is the design complicated? Mm. Oh. Let's say for size. for for a starter, how much will it cost untuk orang yang baru mau belajar mm. sape and think about um seven hundred above. <sighs> Yeah, because everything <laughs> is custom made. It's not um, something that you can just kita uh, pergi kilang, kapa, kapa pergi kedai music. It's not something that yeah, is yeah. made yeah. by by kilang. It's this all is like handmade. It's more handmade lah. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. No yeah. Lofrin, um, quick one. What is your words of wisdom out there? Wow, words of wisdom out there to people who actually wants to learn Sarawak. Eh, Sarawak. <laughs> La, wants to learn Sape, wants to learn Belikan. Apa Lofrin hmm. mau uh, hmm. pesan dengan our youngsters out there? Probably not really youngsters, everyone lah. Everyone ah. lah, yeah, throughout the whole world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd say, um, first and foremost, congratulations. And also, thank you for um, having this passion to bring back all the traditional musical instruments from being endangered mm. and as well jangan putus asa dalam uh, berkecimpung dalam uh, usaha kita untuk menaikkan uh, alat music traditional kita especially in Sarawak uh, makes yeah. me so sad it makes me really you know value my 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 state and my whatever that he has to offer yeah. uh, so Lina pun rasa Kai lebih rasa bertanggungjawab terhadap yeah. uh, this kind of traditional culture sebab pun bukan lah. kita sepagi yeah. nak betul yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Lofrin, mana orang mahu tengok update Lofrin? Ada mungkin ada lagu baru kah? Kompos hmm. lagu baru? Where would people um, follow you? Is there any Instagram, YouTube? Anything? Um, YouTube will be coming up, but do check out my stuff on Instagram. I post cover songs, not just traditional ones. I try to bring uh, contemporary songs to play. Last time I played Hosier on ah. the Blikan, or there is a cover coming up. So do check it out. Okay. okay. So ada Instagram Lofrin Lo nete at Lofrin. Be sure to follow. Be sure to uh, turn on his, her not, her notifications. Mm. So now I think we're coming at an end. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Lofrin. Thank, yeah, really Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was great knowing all this. You know where do we come from and stuff like that. So mm. everyone kepada uh, peminat peminat yeah oh, borak okay. tesipeng <laughs> esok. Seperti biasa ada lagi don't worry be happy dengan konten hmm. yang lain lagi Betul. guest yang lain lagi benda yang lain lagi untuk di share so be sure to turn on TBS 122 my free view channel 122 borak tesi pen tu esok bersama dengan Fir Avandi dan juga Marzella Sigai see you guys take care have a good week day ahead bye bye, bye.